Hello everyone, welcome to today's lecture. Today we have a system of simultaneous equation. How do we solve for this x and y? Knowing fully that your x and y are the exponent in this system of simultaneous equation, you can solve this uh, bringing in another alphabet to represent your um, 2 to the power of x and 3 to the power of y. But I'm not going to substitute in this regard. I'm going to solve straight and we'll get the same answer the same result so like i said in the previous video we are in here fully we are ready for 2024 okay so if you're new here do not forget to subscribe subscribe okay because i'm going to bring more rhetorical math challenges with well simplified method a step-by-step -step guide to solving some of these challenges again this is all online mass tv let's dive into today's challenge without much waste of time okay so looking at this question this is equation one and this is equation two. I'm going to rewrite equation two because equation one does not have issue. So rewriting equation two, okay? So we can rewrite this as your two to the power of x dot, your two to the power of two, okay? This two, okay, plus your three to the power of y dot, your three to the power of one equal to 18. Why am I rewriting this in this format? According to the law of indices, since the bases are the same and your dot here is multiplication sign, so we can add the exponent, taking only one of the base. So this is the one of the base. So x plus 2 is what we have here now. Same thing we did here. So taking one base and add the exponent y plus 1. So this expression and this expression are the same. 2 to the power of 2 is 4 and 3 to the power of 1 is 3. So we cannot have this to be your 4 into 2 to the power of x plus your 3 into your 3 to the power of y equal to 18. Get that? Okay, so we cannot bring our normal equation. Our equation 1 we said is 2 to the power of x plus your 3 to the power of y then equal to 5. And this equation will not have this to be 4 into 2 to the power of x flux your 3 into your 3 to the power of y equal to 18. Easy. So look at these two equations. What do we do here? We can use the substitution method here. Okay? But this is what I want to do. I want to use the elimination method. I want to eliminate the first term here. But before we can do that, we have to make sure that the coefficient of the term in equation 1 and this term in equation 2 are the same. So how do we achieve that? It is easy. All I need to do is to multiply in the whole of equation 1 by the coefficient of the first term here and the whole of equation 2 by the coefficient of the first term here. The coefficient of the first term here is 1, while the coefficient of the first term in equation 2 is 4. So I want to multiply equation 1 by 4. Okay, so if I do that, this will now imply your 4 into 2 to the power of x, close bracket, plus your 4 into 3 to the power of y, close bracket, equal to 4 times 5 will give us 20. Easy. Our equation 2, the coefficient of 2 to the power of x here is just 1. So this will remain the same. So this gives us your 4 into 2 to the power of x close bracket plus 3 into 3 to the power of y close bracket equal to 18. At this point now, we cannot subtract. Hmm. So we subtract here. You discover that plus this minus this will leave the system. Then 4 into 3y minus 3 into 3y, we are left with what? 3 to the power of y. So here we now have this to be 3 to the power of y equal to 20 minus 18. That is 18 from 20. That will give us what? 2. Easy. So let's continue. This side of the bar. Okay. So look at our equation here. Now, so we now have 3 to the power of y equal to 2. Now, at this point, if you look at this, how do we get our y from here? We got either ln both sides of the equation or we take log to base 3. Okay, so let's take log to base 3 on both sides of the equation. So this will give us here log here base 3. Okay, so we have 3 to the power of y. This is equal to your log 
your base 3 the 2 easy so what we do according to the property of logarithm move this exponent back here okay so we we'll move this this is y plex so if we move the whole of this okay back to this side we're going to have here y into your log your 3 base 3 okay this is equal to our log 2 base 3 good what we do at this point is easy again look at another property of log playing out here so log 3 base 3 we give us 1 okay remember we said one of the properties of log says that log your x base x this is equal to what one provided x is not equal to zero so if we subtract to this log three base three will give us one so we're going to have here y is equal to your log base three of two easy we can either leave our answer in this format or we can convert this base we can change this base number to a different base which is our common base natural base which is base 10 so how do we do that okay so we can rewrite this expression to say that therefore our y is equal to we have log 2 base 10 all over log your 3 base 10 I just apply the law of logarithm here. Okay? Change your base law in logarithm. I've applied this law in solving so many challenges. Okay? But now let me rewrite this equation very well so that you don't get confused. Erase this. So this is Ry is equal to what we have in here. Now, easy. Very easy. So from here, what we do, we cannot go and look for our um, x. Okay, we've gotten our y. So how do we get our x? It's easy also. All we just need to do is to go ahead and put this value into this place here. <laughs> okay, so now from equation one, let's say from equation one, we have um, 2 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of y equal to 5. Let's continue on this side again. Okay, so from here we now have your 2 to the power of x plus now, like I said, look at our 3 to the power of y is equal to 2. So let's replace this with 2 is equal to 5. So we now have 2x is equal to your 5 minus 2. So 2 to the power of x is equal to what? Your 3. Good. Again, what we do here to get our x, that we take log to base 2. So taking log to base 2, we have here 2, log 2 to the power of x, all over 2. Okay, this is equal to, again we have log your 3 base 2. Easy. Applying the property of log or rule of log, move this this way. So we have here log log 2 okay let's just go on all right 2 base 2 this is equal to log 3 base 2 this will give us 1 so we now have therefore x is equal to your log your 3 base 2 easy so what we do here again we can rewrite this applying the change of base which we did here so doing that we now give us therefore our x is equal to your log your 3 base 10 that changes to base 10 okay so all over your log your 2 base 10 okay all right this is our division sign here so we now have this as our x now i'll use calculator to simplify both x and y down and when substituted into this satisfy this our equation so this is the value of our y and this is the value of our x simple as a b c d all right so this marks the end to this simple simultaneous equation using the elimination method.
without replacing or without substituting for your 2 to the power of x or 3 to the power of y. Okay, so if you learn something from this short and simple simultaneous equation, give the video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe. We'll bring you more videos all your way. Thanks for always being there. Bye for now.